Hey you guys, Carol here. I'm back with another video. Yesterday, say I'm back with another video. I have no idea what this video is going to be titled. I have no idea. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. But, I'm at work. I'm on my lunch break. And first things first, I want to say happy Friday. Happy Friday, happy Friday. I'm extremely happy, extremely blessed, extremely thankful that we were able to make it into a new year. Happy 2024. I hope everyone was able to bring in the new years a great way or the best way that they could. I'm just grateful to be on this platform, grateful to be alive, have a life. Um, I'm just grateful. Like, since my car accident, I just, you know, I see stuff a lot differently. And I'm just extremely grateful. So, I want to start this video, video off with, excuse me, with a lot, of, with a lot of gratitude. I want you guys to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn the post notification button on. That way you don't miss a video, don't miss a beat. Don't miss a video, don't miss a beat, don't miss a video, don't miss a beat. Okay, 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 let's get into this video. Um, I don't know what this video is going to be called, but I just wanted to chit chat with y'all for maybe about 10 minutes or so. Um, a message came over me. I don't know what it's going to be titled just yet. I just want to talk and let it flow. Um, you guys, lean on God. Lean on God. I know there's a quote somewhere in the Bible. It says something about, you know, lean on God uh, instead of leaning on your own understanding. That's That's heavy for me right now because... A lot of the times we try to take matters into our own hands and nine times out of ten, that does not work. That does not work out for us in our favor. Cause usually what we're asking for doesn't mean that we don't need it or we don't deserve it or we don't want it. It doesn't mean that, it just means not right now. We are so impatient and that's why it's like these tests are so important. It's just so important how like you can write out a goal today within four, five, six, seven months, or even a year. You look back and you see, like, wow, you achieved that and more. And it's like, but when when you, you were in that moment, you didn't feel like you were going to see that situation through. But at, at my age right now, at 27 years old, I, I feel like, I feel like I've been through things, but I know for a fact that I will go through more things. And it's just, I just need to lean on God. God is going to give me the strength that I need to get through it. No matter what it is, no matter how painful or how hurtful it is, you know. This is not our world. We did not, did we make this place? We did not make this place. And it gets so deep and I can go on and on about it, but... I think what put me into this message is the fact that I've been noticing recently uh, since the new year. I'm I'm actually really proud of myself. I want to point that out. I'm proud of myself because this year I didn't have a resolution really. Everybody kept asking me if I had a resolution. Normally my resolution is let things go because I feel like I tend to not hold grudges, but I hold on to things, you know, or like a, like a harp on things. And I understand now it's kind of like... God doesn't want me to forget those things that happen. He doesn't want me to forget those things that happen. He wants me to work through those things for my good. You know, bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up, basically beating a dead horse with no solution. It's like, girl, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time and time is not on our side, you know? So with that being said, if you're going through something, don't give up. I know I say that all the time, but I really believe that. Uh, lean on God. You don't have to tell people all your business. Tell your family and friends your moves. I feel like I used to overshare or I used to just want to share my victories and, you know, blessings with others. But people don't mean you any well. Even if it sounds all nice and stuff, sometimes you still have to keep your guard up. Like, you know... And I don't know. I don't know if that makes me. 
I don't know what that makes me look like, but at the end of the day, we have to live for ourselves. We cannot care what other people think about us. We have one life to live, and that's something I had to realize with this YouTube. Like, I'm going to either be myself or I'm just not going to do it at all, and this is me being myself. I'm not always going to be, you know, looking the best on here, like... But it's, but I, I don't know. It's just, it's just so many things I wanted to share with y'all. And I just don't have enough time. I just don't have enough time. And also I'm not feeling rushed anymore. Like I used to feel rushed. Like, oh, I just got to get this out. I just got to tell y'all this, tell y'all that. I'm like, no, I want to enjoy my blessings in peace, in peace, you know? And like you, I just want to stress that you don't feel like you have to share everything with everybody. Don't feel like you have to tell everybody everything. People do not mean you well. Or some people just want to be in your business. It's like life is too short. Also, stop putting yourselves in positions to be upset. That's what I was going to say for the new year. I have not been putting myself in positions to where I would be upset. If I know someone does not like me, I'm not going to put myself in a room with them because that's going to bring me back. And I don't want to go back. I want to go forward, you know, and people see your light. They see your light and they want to know how they can get a piece of that. It's simple. Be kind. Today, it's not even two o'clock. And I've already done so many good deeds. Well, things that I think are good deeds. I don't have to tell you all those things. I know in my heart I did the right thing and I would do it all over again. Like, we just got to... Doing something nice for somebody, it does not always include money. It doesn't. And going into this new year, I'm just, I just, I'm just speaking positivity over my life. I'm not cursing my life. I am putting... I am like, I feel like this is going to be the year and the years on, they're going to be amazing. It's going to be full of just abundance. Like I am growing. I am growing in so many ways. And, you know, you guys are going to come on this journey with me, but just, I'm just trying to be present in my life right now. Like recently I have not been letting things upset me. Like I can't, I feel like I just can't afford to. After November, I had like a breakdown. I had a, I had a breakdown in November, like the beginning of November, mid-November towards the end. I got in my accident. And it's just like, life is too short to be on BS. It's like, I don't care about um, drama. Like, that's not, like some people feed off of that. I don't feed, I don't feed off of that. Yeah, I love a little tea from time to time. Love me a good show or two, some drama. But like in my real life, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And I'm not going to do that. Anything that's disrupting my peace, I'm not going to do it. And I do have like, you know, people pleaser in me. But it's like that girl is barely even there anymore because after you've been messed around so many times by so many different people, it's like I would be a fool to put myself in those positions again. I, this year and on forward, I'm putting myself in positions to win. I am, I am happy. I am happy. I have not been happy for a while, but I can honestly say I'm happy. And that's because every day I'm choosing happy. I'm choosing happy. That doesn't mean everything is perfect. I'm choosing happy. Because from the outside looking in, people could think that you just got it all, but they don't know what you're dealing with or what you're battling with. But I also realized what I've been saying for years now, people just legit don't care. And it's like, once you get that in your head, you keep stuff to yourself. But it's like, yeah, you don't. It's just weird. It's just weird. There'll be another video. Like, you don't want to bottle stuff up, but like, you got to find ways to cope. Otherwise, it's going to build up in you and like frustration or anger. Or like, you know, we just don't want to be like that. We don't want to be hateful people. We want to be happy people. We want to thrive. You know, we can't, you can't be focused on what other people are doing. You need to have your own goals and go after those goals. I feel like a lot of times we're going to go over the 10 minute mark because I, I feel, I feel like the message coming. I'm not perfect. I don't do everything per per uh, perfect, perfectly. I cannot talk. 
I've made mistakes. I will probably continue to make mis- mistakes. I am a imperfect. Oh God, devil don't want me to say it. I am a imperfect person. But while I am on here, why am I? While I am here on this earth, I want to live for God. I am not going to be perfect along the way, but I can say that I want to live for God. I will live for God. Like, if I could limit it, my cussing, cool. If I could limit my drinking, cool. Like, if I could, like, stop eating junk, cool. Like, I just want to be better. Bye, I love y'all. Peace.